Mrs. Anson Chan, uh, uh, Consul General Wilson, Mr. Justice Bakari, our speakers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my privilege to welcome you all here today for the first Trust Forum Asia. As Tara said, today is about action. Trust Forum Asia is dedicated to take tangible action to put human trafficking out of business. At its core, human trafficking is a business issue. It is a fast growing, illicit industry and it's worth $150 billion. Just to put that in perspective, that's three times Apple's earnings. And Apple, as I'm sure many of you know, is the most profitable company on earth. So less than a year ago, Nadia Stoyle and I committed to take action against slavery, particularly to focus in Asia. And the action we decided to take was to create this event. With six of the world's worst 10 countries for slavery being located in Asia, we felt this was an absolute moral imperative for us. We began attending more and more events to learn as much as we possibly could and we connected with several of the amazing speakers that you are going to hear from today. We also had an amazing example of what could be done in what the Thomson Reuters Foundation had created with Trust Women and with Monique Villa's efforts. The Trust Women Conference has now been running for three years in London and it's a leading platform for action. In 2014, the Trust Women Conference created more than 30 actions to address modern day slavery and women's empowerment. So as we sat here in Asia and we continued to learn more about the size and scope of slavery and forced labor that was right here on our doorstep, we wanted to extend the reach of the Thomson Reuters Foundation and the, and the absolute movement to action to come to Asia. We started a year ago, we, we started late last year with uh, streaming the Trust uh, Women's event into our Hong Kong and Singapore offices. We saw strong support from industry leaders, academics, government and NGOs, many of whom are here again today. There seemed to still be a lot to be done to raise awareness of the issue. And let's be honest, to even agree that there was a problem. So we believe that Trust Forum Asia was one way that we could do that and that we could take action. And we would also be able to galvanize cross industry cooperation and initiatives. So we believe that there is the fight for slavery or the fight against slavery is where we can all play a role. We can all take action, whether we are a journalist, we can expose slavery. Activists can lobby and get slavery on the political agenda. Lawyers can work to implement changes to laws and to, to better prosecute traffickers. Business leaders can implement changes to, present, to prevent slavery from flourishing in their supply chains. And of course, as consumers, we can all ask questions about the goods that we are consuming. So Thomson Reuters, together with the Thomson Reuters Foundation, is committed to eradicating these practices from the corporate world by working with our customers, with corporates and civil society. Companies can often become unwitting participants um, in, in slavery by their lack of understanding of their suppliers, their partners, and their contractors. So today, we are pleased to announce partnerships with both Verite and Liberty Asia. These partnerships will combine data and technology to analyze the activities of labor brokers and to build more collaborative mechanisms of gathering and vetting information. These projects will help companies with the integrity of their supply chains 
at a time when their activities are under increased scrutiny. This is particularly an issue in emerging markets where suppliers need to demonstrate compliance, not only with local labour laws, but with an increasing amount of legislation um, in countries such as the US and the United Kingdom if they wish to continue to export to them. So we look forward to sharing more on these initiatives as they develop. Finally, I would like to thank our sponsors and all of the supporters here today. Thank you to Linklaters, our lead sponsor, and thank you very much to all of your help with the Action to Impact sessions. Thank you also to Beith Chapman, to Goldman Sachs, to Hubbus, and to ICAP. Your contribution and support for this event, and especially this being the first event, and your confidence in us in bringing all of these people together is truly appreciated and allowing us to bring this movement to Asia. In addition, we had many wonderful partners. Our venue partner, Asia Society, as I'm sure you'll agree, an amazing venue. Our media partners, Reuters and the South China Morning Post, and hopefully you've all seen the amazing two-part series in the Sunday Post. There's some on your seats or there's more in the foyer if you would like to see that our event partner, Liberty Asia, our wine sponsor, Kerry Wines, and also Quintessentially and Company who have been fantastic in helping us organise this entire day today. And thank you also to all of our supporting partners. The supporting partners really did help raise further awareness and help us sell tickets to the event. And finally, thank you to all of you for attending. You're already helping, so thank you for, for coming here today. We were inspired as individuals and as a company to take action, and I hope that you all will be too. Thank you very much. <laughs>